Hello, this is Matt Dean with A-Plus College Ready, and today we're going to talk a little bit about population ecology. So ecology is the study of the interactions uh, between organisms and their environment. It's affected by abiotic and biotic factors. Abiotic factors are environmental factors that aren't living. Things like the temperature, the availability of light and water and nutrients, soil, and even wind. Biotic factors are environmental factors that are living or at least are related to living things. These can include things like the bacteria, the protists, the fungi, the plants, the animals in an environment. It can also include things like competi competition between organisms and symbiotic relationships that occur between organisms. Ecologists often study ecology at five different levels. First, at the organismal level, where they're looking at individual living things and the adaptations that allow them to live in a specific environment. Next, at the population level. So a population is a group of the same species of organism living in the same place at the same time. In population ecology, uh, ecologists study the size, density, and the structure of populations. The community level is the next level. Here, uh, scientists study the interactions between different populations that live in the same area or the same habitat. Next, we've got the ecosystem level. These ecologists study ecosystems, which are the communities that live in a place and how those communities interact with the environment. Ecosystem ecologists often look at how energy flows through a system and how that matter or nutrients are recycled through that ecosystem. Finally, we look at the biosphere level. Here, ecologists look at how all the ecosystems interact and how they affect the entire Earth. So here we see our different levels, all the way from the biggest, the biosphere level, all the way down to the smallest or the individual organism level. So those five levels that we just looked at, from, from biosphere down to organism, we introduced them from small to large, starting with the organismal level, working up to the biosphere level. Um, each of those levels has emergent properties, new properties that aren't present in the, the level below, but emerge because the parts and the organisms interact and, and form relationships. So let's talk specifically about population ecology now. So as we said earlier, a population includes all the organisms of the same species that live in the same area at the same time and show some signs of reproduction with each other. Sort of a subfield of population ecology is demography. So demography is the statistical study of populations and how those populations change over time. Oftentimes population ecologists focus on the size of the population which you're going to see oftentimes abbreviated with a capital N, and the population density, which is the number of individuals per unit of area, or if we're talking about like an aquatic environment, the number of individuals per unit of volume. So these are really important for describing the status of a population and also for making predictions about how the populations might change. 